if one wants to go all out in sadhana, so how can be protected from negative aspects and stick to sadhana? Okay, if you are going all out in the sadhana, that basically means like uh, you have to take care of the place where you are going to do your sadhana. Uh, that starts with the food, uh, your energy space. We're doing the sadhana. Don't let, let people enter to your place. Uh, do not, uh, you know, uh, take like somebody else's stuff. Uh, do not borrow his stuff. Do not give your stuff to other people. Do not let other people touch you. Okay, so these are the things. But uh, Isha's practices are like a very powerful. Like uh, if you are gone up to uh, Samyama practice or something, like uh, <laughs> these things will be coming around you. Like uh, you will know like uh, what things are coming based on my experiences and everything. But like uh, it is a good experience. They will come and then like uh, they are just like uh, any other thing around you. Uh, it's just like that. Uh, you just ignore them. That's what it is. That is completely fine. If you give a value, like rather than the external negative aspects or something, uh, what is going to happen is like uh, it is your own thought and emotion that can be a biggest barrier. Okay, that is the main reason. Like uh, you have to go through the inner engineering program again, classes, not only the practice, but the classes and get your foundation very, very strong so that uh, you have a very inclusive mindset when you are doing the sadhana. So that like it's not about like you versus the world. Okay.